On the heels of the tragic shooting in Orlando, state officials are discussing New Hampshire's preparedness in the event of a similar incident unfolding in the Granite State. The SWAT tra teams train regularly, the regional SWAT teams train with the state police SWAT team, so all those teams train so they'd have their tactical response to that, as well as local law enforcement are always going to be the first on scene. With that being said, there's the medical response, there is mass casualty incident plans in place in communities. Local Homeland Security Director Perry Plummer says they held an intelligence briefing today to see if their response plans need to be updated. Governor Maggie Hassan was out of the state at campaign-related events when the Orlando shooting happened and was out of the state today, but did take part in this security meeting. Anytime there's an incident like this, we look at is there a nexus to New Hampshire. In this case, there is no known nexus to New Hampshire at this point. So our safety is the same as it was yesterday and the day before uh, from an event like this. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to pack the Lakes region from now through the weekend for the annual Motorcycle Week celebration. Officials say security planning for this event starts around the first of the year. They say high visibility uniformed officers on patrol is a tactic that has worked in the past and that will not change. Um, certainly it catches our attention these events that occur in Orlando. Um, we keep an eye on events like this throughout the country and throughout the world. Um, we, and we adapt them to our security plans here um, every year for Motorcycle Week. Local officials say that the public is still their best security tool and if they're asking everyone if, if they see something to say something. Report anything suspicious to police and let them check it out. Putting live at Weir's Beach, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.